Y'all ready? All right. Father, we thank you for this step, Shabbat. We ask you right now as we go before you, touch those who are laboring in this truth, and we ask you, Lord, that you just continue to bring forth this word. Touch right now, even prayers on the prayer, prayer box upon the altar. We lift all prayers up before you, every request. And Father, we thank you for everything. We thank you in advance, and we know that it's done. As we go from here, touch right now. Touch those who have not been able to make it. We lift them up as well. Touch them right now. And as we go from here, shalom. Shalom. Test them one. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48 and lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint a likeness of their image. See? And we're going to help it show you it's pretty much the same like okay. Job 9.24. Job 9.24. Verse 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? So it's talking about the earth is given to the wicked, right? Yeah. And he said, he covered the, the faces of the judges, meaning they whitewashed. Sure did. The pictures of Christ yeah. and the apostles yeah. and the 12 tribes. Sure did. Of Israel. Yep. Right? Yep. So that's who the judges are. Israel. True. So if you don't believe this, you can research it and you will see that there's pictures yeah. that they have whitewashed. It. Sure did. Right? Yeah, they got proof. And so they call it kind of kind of Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you can look at that and see it for yourself. True. And so you'll see the Bible's a proof a real book. Yes it is. And it proves everything. It sure does. Right? Yes it does. So this goes with Maccabees, if you see that they painted, right? Yeah. So this one was talking about and so when they said cover it, it's really talking about them painting over the pictures. Right. Right? Yeah. Cover the faces of the judges. True. Right? Yeah. yeah. So now let's go to I believe it's Matthew twenty four where Christ warns us to not be deceived by Men, right? Uh -huh. A false Christ. Right. Yeah, let's start up with verse four uh -huh. and five. Four and five, okay. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And youth Yahushua answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Five, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, 
and deceive many. See, pretty much. And it goes with this uh, precept going with uh, Second uh, Corinthians. Second Corinthians 11 4. Second Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. For if he that cometh preaching another Yahushua whom we have not preached or if we receive another spirit which we have not received or another gospel which we have not accepted ye might well bear with him. So men set this, these images up, right? Right. So this is going into the false Christ. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So also, if we look at it, we also see they change times. Yeah. That goes into Daniel seven twenty five. Right. They change laws and times. Sure did. So when they set this all up, they change the laws and times, right? True. You said Daniel chapter eleven verse seven. It's a seven twenty five. Oh yeah, it is. Daniel, chapter 7, verse, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given to his hand unto a time, and times, and the dividing of time. So right there, so we break it down, so man changed laws. True. And times. So, to move us away from the Most High. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, just like we did the teaching on man as vanity, right? Yeah. I'm going to give the precept on man being vanity, right? Okay. Psalms 94 and 11. I give you a couple precepts on this. Psalms 94, 11. The Lord knows the thoughts of man, and they are vanity. See? Man's thoughts are vanity, right? Yep. So they're making these images. It's vanity. It sure is. Anything that comes out of man's mind <laughs> yeah. that is not of the most high. It's vanity. It's vanity. Yes. Right? Yeah. And we give you some more about that. It's Psalms 9, I mean 39, 5, 6. 39, 5, and 6. Psalms, right? Yeah. Okay. 39, 39, 39, 5, 6. Yeah, 39, verse 5 and 6. Okay. Psalms, chapter 39, verse 5. Behold, thou hast made my days as the hand breath, and my age is as nothing before thee. Very, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. So long. Six, surely every man walked in vain shows surely they are disquiet in vain. He heap up riches and know not who shall gather them. See? And vanity. Vanity. All wasted. <laughs> and we need some more on that. Okay. More on 
man being vanity. Okay. Let's go to the Ecclesiastes, the regular one. Okay. 912. 912. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 12 For a man also know not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net as the birds that are caught in a snare so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. So we did this before so yeah. we just added it in there because uh -huh. it ties in how men is worshiping the most high in vain. Right. So this show you that their life is vanity. Yeah, it is. And there's another scripture for that in chapter Ecclesiastes 6, 12. 6, 12. Regular Ecclesiastes, right? Yeah, the regular Ecclesiastes. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 12. For who knows what is good for man in this life? All the days of his vain life which he spent as a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? You see that? Yeah. The Bible said all the days of his vain life. So it said yeah. the man's life is vain. That's what you said. Right? Yeah. So I, I got this to lay this down because we got to understand the worship of man, what man is creating. True. These images, right? Yeah. And we would go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and show you. 14. This talks about the, the counterfeit. Okay. So, uh, let's see. You said 14 verse, I mean. Start with uh, 17. Oh, chapter 17? Uh, it's chapter 14. Chapter 14, verse 17. Yeah, 17, you go, to, I think, all the way down, let's see. Quiet over there. Okay, you said 14, 17? Yeah. Chapter yeah. 14, verse 17, right? Yeah, go all the way to 21. Okay. No, go all the way to 22. That's good. 22? Yeah, because that's also going into the religions, right? All right. So this is going into that false image. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that false, that false person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 17. Whom men could not honor in present because they dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his vengeance from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that by this, their forwardness, forwardness, they might flatter him that was absent as if he were present. 18. Also, the singular diligence of the artifier did help to set forward the ignorance of more superstition. 19. For he, preventure, will willing to please one of authority, forced all his skill to make the resemblance of a best fashion. 20. So the multitude, allured by the grace of the work, took him now for a good, which a little before was but honor. 21. This was the occasion to deceive the world, for men serving either calamity or tyranny did extract until a stone and stuck the uncommutable un name. 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of Elohim, but whereas they lived in great war of ignorance, those so great 
play called a peace. So that's going into religions, right? Yeah. Because you see when you go to the whole scripture, it's talking about the, the image they made. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because you see counterfeit in the 17 verse scene. Yeah. It said counterfeit of its bestest. That's yeah. The bestest is face. Right. Face. Face. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's talking about that false image they made. <laughs> yeah. As a god. Yeah. And got the whole world believing. Right? Yeah. So they did this way back in that time, and they did it in this time. True. Right? Yeah. And so we know it's going into that false Christ. Yes, it was. Yes, right? it is. Yes. And so right here you see it, and it's it's going deep into uh, all that idol worship. Yeah. That's all it is. Idol worship. And the Lord said those who make them yeah. are like them. Yeah. Meaning you are like these images. Wow. That means do they see? No, no, they're blind. Do they hear? No, they can't hear. They're deaf. They don't have no understanding at right. all. Right. Right? Yeah. So if you are worshiping these things, you are like them. Yeah. You have no understanding. You can't see. True. Even though you see, you don't see. That's right. Even though you hear, you don't hear. Right. Meaning you don't hear the truth. Exactly. Right? Right. All you can see is the natural realm. That's all they see. And you have no understanding what's going on behind the spirit realm. True. They in don't. the world. Exactly. Right? Right. So that, that's what that's going into. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See? Yeah. How sad. Mm -mm -mm. And so we lay that out. Because also as we lay that out, going into that worship. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 29, 13. And after that, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back to... Uh, Wisdom of uh, Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, because the precept in this, it goes with, uh, what you call it, Isaiah 29, 13, is in 16, verse 16, Wisdom of Solomon, 14, 16. Okay, 14, 16, okay. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 Wherefore the Lord said For as much as this people draw near me With their mouth And with their lips do honor me But have removed their heart far from me And their fear toward me Is taught by the precept of men See precept of man Yeah And removed from the most high Because yeah. he removed from his commandments True His laws Yeah Now the following man Yeah which is what we broke down. Right. Vanity. Vanity. Right. Wisdom of Solomon. And so Wisdom of Solomon, yeah. Okay. Go back there. Uh-huh. And verse 16. Yep. Right. Chapter 14, 16. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. Thus, in the process of time, of ungodly custom grow strong, was kept as a law. Engraven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. See, so man, kings made these laws sure did. for you to worship, also to do certain holidays. Yep. Because this, like today, yep. holidays they set up sure did. that you follow. Yep. Did you think you follow the most? I know you're not. No, you're not. You're following man. Yeah, sure is. And when you follow man, you become vanity. That's right. You become vain. That's right. Right? Yeah. Going after vain persons. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yeah. Vain things. That's right. Right? Yeah, become worthless. And that's what you have become. True. We have become vain. Yeah. Chasing after vain stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this scripture goes good when you speak about how they make the customs of man right. and the traditions of man. Yeah. It goes good with uh, Mark 7-7. Seven, seven. Mark 7-7. Seven, seven. Mark 7, 7. Okay. 
Got it. And you can go to eight two. Okay. And nine. Both go nine. Okay. Mark chapter seven verse seven. How bit in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrines of the commandments of men. Eight for laying aside the commandments of Elohim. Ye hold the tradition of men as a washing of pots and uh, cups, and many other such like things do ye, ye do. 9. And ye say unto them, Full well ye reject the commandments of Elohim, that ye may keep your own tradition. See? Yeah. And that's what people have done. Sure did. You have rejected the Most High, Yehuda. Yes, it did. His laws. Yeah. To keep your own tradition. Is that what they're doing? Right? Yeah. The good one to go with this right here is Colossians 2.8. Colossians 2.8. So when you reject the Most High's laws and his ways, you worship him in vain. That is. You're right. That is in vain. You worship him with your lips. True. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men after the rudiments and of world and not after Christ. See? Going after the tradition of man. Yep. Not after Christ. Right. Right? No good. So Samuel warned us in 1 Samuel 12 21 he warned us uh, 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 be, uh, you know uh, becoming vain. Mm hmm Right? Yeah. Uh, chapter, what chapter? First Samuel 12, 21. 12, 21. First Samuel 12, 21. First Samuel, chapter 12, 21. Yeah, 12, 21. Okay, 12, 21, okay. First Samuel, chapter 12, verse 21. And ye turn ye not aside, for then shall ye go after vain things which cannot profit nor deliver, but they are vain. See? Yeah. And now go to uh, 2 Kings 17, 14, and 15. 17, chapter 17? Yeah. 2 Kings 17, 14, and 15. Gotcha. Okay. 2 Kings, okay. Yeah, then you have, I'd have verse 16 too. Oh, get 16? Yeah. Okay. Second King, chapter 17, verse 14. Notwithstanding, they were not here, but hardened their necks like to their necks of their fathers that did not believe in the Lord their Elohim. 15. And they rejected his statue and his covenant that he made with their father and his testimony was he testified against them that they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were around about them concerning whom the Lord has charged them that they should not do like them. Sixteen they left all the commandments of the Lord their Elohim and made their molten image. Even two calves and made of a grove and worship all the hosts of heaven and serve Baal. See? Mm -mm -mm -mm. They come vain. Yeah, vain. And just like you read it today, same thing today. Yeah, then change. The Bible repeats itself. Sure does. So, it's all going on again. <laughs> yes, it is. Right? right? Yeah. 
People are doing vain things. Sure is, right now. Right? Yes. So we come from there. Go to Psalms 119 and 104. Psalms 119, 104. Yes, Psalm 119, 104. Psalms 119, verse 104. Through thy precept I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. See? Yeah. Hate every false way, and the precept was just going to this, because we know vain, right? Yeah. One Psalms, I mean, Psalms 112, 113. 112, 113. 112, 113. Okay, with that Psalms? Psalms, yeah. Okay. Oh, what, what chapter? Uh, what chapter? 119. Oh, 119. Uh, and 104. Then, no, the other one. Uh, the other song? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's 112. Oh, 112. 113. 112, 113? Yep, uh, 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 what, what chapter? It's 112? Yeah. yeah only, but what, what, what's the verse? 10, it's like 10, 10 and uh, 112. What verse, Paul? Wait a minute. Let me see what I'm looking for. Okay, so 112, 113. 112. There's only 10 yeah. chapters. Okay. I, I probably wrote it down wrong. It's probably, it's probably 19. Let me see. 19? Okay. 119. Okay, 119. Could be 19. 119. Okay, okay, I got that. 119. Look at that. Oh, I bet you're right, Paul. It could be uh, 112 to 113, right? 119 versus 112 to 119. Let's see. Because 113, it tells you what you said. Yeah, it's 113. Yeah. It's one, 119. 119. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I wrote it down wrong. Okay. Sometimes that happens. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Psalm 119 verse 113. Tonight, I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. <coughs> See? Yeah. Vain thoughts. Yep. And so man is giving you vain thoughts. That's the problem. Because they speak vain. Yes, they speak vain. But if they're not speaking the word, it's vain. Yeah, yeah, it is vain. Sure. Right? Yeah. And we can give you another one for that. That's in uh, Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. Okay. Ephesians 5. Let me see that verse. Okay. Five six. Five six. Yeah. Ephesians five six. Okay. Ephesians five yes. six. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Oh, another precept come to me like. All right. I'll give y'all that next. Ephesians chapter five verse six. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Elohim upon the children of disobedience. Say vain words, right? Yeah. And then a good one is uh, Jeremiah 23, 16. 23, 16? Yeah. Okay. And if, a, if we're not speaking the word from the scripture, mm -hmm. it's vain. It sure is. No, but vain. Okay, Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 16. Thus said the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words 
of the prophet that prophesied unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. See? Yeah. So you speaking out of your own heart? <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Sure is. It's bad. And we know most people don't understand heart because they still think it's this down here. Yep. But that doesn't think. True. It's this that thinks. <laughs> right. The uh, heart. Cause yeah, they believe yeah. this does it. Because I've seen some people that still think, oh, in my heart. <laughs> yeah. that, no, you, it's this. <laughs> yeah, true. You don't think with that down there. You sure don't. That is pump the blood. It sure is. That's pump the blood. Exactly. But not people. All your evil thoughts is coming right here. Yeah, not here. <laughs> true. Yeah, they do believe that. I don't know what, so, what got them thinking. So I don't know what's wrong with people. Yeah, really. They haven't caught on to what Christ was saying. Exactly. They said that the evil thoughts come out uh -huh. of your mind, yeah. your heart. Yeah. Well, I know he said heart. Your heart. But, it, but he it's said, your it's your mind. Yeah. You're not this. Sure not. Because I, I, I see people still thinking this. Sure do. They really that do. That is from blood. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How can they think things? <laughs> that, that's from blood, right? Yeah, that's all it does. Right. And so you're not thinking what that down there. Sure isn't. Right? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. People just, so some people haven't caught on, did they? No, they sure don't. I so guess. it's this. Yeah, sure is. Right here. That's your main problem. Sure is. All them evil thoughts. Yeah, right here. here. Right here. Yeah, sure is. Right? Yeah. Then you got to wash it out with the word. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Then you got to cast it out. Sure do. Cast it down. Yeah. Cast down the imaginations. Sure do. Right? Yeah, out of your head, out of your mind. And so, also, so we covered everything. And so, according to Amos 5, 23, and 24. 5, okay. 5 verse 20, uh, 23 take thou away from me the noise of thy song for I will not hear the melody of thy vials 24 but let judgment run down as water and righteousness as a mighty stream so most I don't care about your noise of songs sure don't. if it's not in truth right if it's not in truth it has to be in truth yeah right yeah make mention of him in truth yeah right true because that means, some people might not know what that means, what to make mention of truth. I put it, I give it for instance, say, say a brother comes to us, he claims he loves the Lord, I love the Lord with all my heart. Mm -hmm. But he committing commit all kinds of sins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're cheating with women, yeah. doing this oh, and that, yeah. all that. Yeah. So that right there shows you he's not in truth, even though he says he's well, loving the Lord. Yeah. But if you're doing all those things under the sun, <laughs> no, there's not. not in truth. You're right, there's no truth there. You have to come out of that. Yeah, he sure does. And do what the Most High wants. <laughs> exactly. Then you in truth. Yeah. When you're walking in his laws, his word. Right. Right? Walking his ways. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not just saying that, well, oh, I love the Lord. Oh, I love you. <laughs> right? I'm right? still doing wicked things. No, that's not right. You, you know? can do that all day. The Lord's not hearing you if you're not real. That's if right. If you're not... Doing what the Most High wants you to do. That's right. Right? Yeah. We can't be lip service. That's right. That's what it's all about. Lip service. Yep. Right? Yep. And then we can't be actors. Yeah, and that's what it is. Because a lot of bunch of, we got a bunch of actors. <laughs> yeah. Right? And actors too. Actors, yeah. Yep. Because when you move because when you get done doing the movies set. Yeah. It was just an act. That's all it is. Just an act. Right? Yep. And it wasn't real. No, not real. Because no. you're an actor, right? Yeah. Cause we got a bunch of actors that, that, that that's good actors. Yeah, they're good actors. They can cry good, yep. weep good, yep. speak good. Yep. But the Lord want actors. No, he he wants people actors. that's real. Real, yeah. He wants the real person. Right. Real, yeah. So Psalms one nineteen thirty seven. One nineteen thirty seven. Yeah. Quiet over 
do. Psalms 119, verse 37. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. So he said, quicken me in thy way, quicken me in thy law. Yes. Right? Yeah. Because he said, I'm, I'm seeing vanity everywhere. Yeah. Vanity. Vanity. Just like you might be seeing it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Partying. Partying. Even in church. Yeah. Church is vanity. <laughs> You yeah, know, because yeah. why you might say, why are you saying the church is bad? Because they may be preaching the word, but they ain't following nothing in the Bible. That's right. They're not. Right? Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah, they ain't doing it. They got the book, but they, they, they ain't right? following it. Yeah. And so everything's vanity. Yeah, vanity. Right? Yeah. It's all vain. Sure is. Right? Yeah, they're all fakers. And so we went to the scriptures to show you. Yeah. Man's life is vain. Sure is. In vain. Everything man does is vain. Yeah, go to the Lord. But if you're doing the word of the Lord, the Lord considered that's not vain. That's right. Right? Yeah. So if you're doing his word and keeping the truth, yeah. he don't consider that vain. That's right. He don't. Right? Yeah. Because it's in the scripture said, he that do the will of, of the Father yeah. will abide forever. That's right. Right? Yeah. But if you're doing vain things, oh, your end is going to come quick. Really quick. Right? Yeah. So you go to Psalms 4-2, right? Yeah. Psalms. Psalms 4-2. Chapter 4. Quiet over there. Yeah, okay. You ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Psalms 42. I mean, not 42, but 42. Yes. Here it goes. Psalm chapter 4, verse 2. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Shalom. So we brought that out before. Leasing is lies, right? Yeah. Vanity and lies, right? It sure is. So, pretty much what he said, ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame. He's talking to Israel. That's right. Right? Yes, he is. Because when you go after other things mm -hmm. instead of the Most High, right. you're turning his glory into shame. That's what he's saying. Yep. Right? Yep, sure is. So go to Exodus uh, 16 28. 16 28. Exodus. Oh, 16, yeah. Exodus, chapter 16, verse 28. And the Lord say unto Moses, How long refuseth ye to keep my commandments and my laws? See? So that's for you to know his heart. Because yeah. he said, How long did they refuse to yeah. keep my commandments and my laws? Yeah. See? <laughs> The Lord said that to Moses. Sure did. About Israel. Yes, he did. Then you go to Deuteronomy 20, I mean 5 and 29. 5 and 29. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 29. Oh, that there was such a heart in them that they may fear me and keep all of my commandments always, that it might be well with them and with their children forever. See? He said if, if they would keep his commandments, it would have been well with their children forever. Yes, us. <laughs> so the Lord, when he said that, he knew the trouble that we was going to go through. Sure did. Yes, it did. He knew. That's why he said it would have been well. <laughs> yeah. 
with their children forever, right? Yeah, that means we got hit. <laughs> right? Yeah. So the Lord knew the trouble that you was going to go through because you rejected. Our people rejected it, yep. To keep his laws. Sure did. And it's another precept that goes with that. You go to Psalms, I mean not Psalms, but Isaiah 48, 18. 48, 18? Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah. 48, 18. Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 18. Oh, that thou have hearkened to my commandments, then have they peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. See? Yeah. So you would have been at peace as a river of sea. This also meaning that you have been ruling. That's right. Right? Yeah. Because if you if you would have kept it, his yeah. commandments, right? If it wasn't kept, it would have been already been ruling right now. But so that's what he's letting us know through these scriptures. Yeah. If we would have done what he wanted right. us to do, we would have been in peace. That's right, we'd be in good shape. In peace, yeah, right? yeah, but we chose not to do so, so yeah. here we are. <laughs> so we're just letting you know everything's in here in the Bible. That's right. Because the Lord also lets us know if you would have kept my commandments, it yeah. would have been well with you. You would have still been ruling. Yeah, that's what he said. But also, as you know, also on the bad side, too. <laughs> yeah. If you reject me yeah. and you don't keep my commandments, then all these curses will come up on and you. And that's what happened to us. And that happened to us. Yeah. Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 15. Yep. See, if you disobey, right? Yep. Then all these commandments come up. These curses come up on you. And that's how we got here. <laughs> right? Yep. Now, let's go to uh, First Baruch chapter 3. I got a lot of verses written down okay. here. 9 all the way to 13. First group, chapter 3. Yeah. Start out with verse 9. Okay. Go all the way to 13. Okay. So first group. Uh, chapter Uh, verse 9, bar, 9 to 13. First Brew, chapter 3, verse 9. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. 10. How happened it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land, that thou art waxed in old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. 11. That thou art talented with them that go down into the grave. 12. That thou forsaken the fountain of wisdom. 13. For if thou have walked in the ways of Elohim, thou shouldest have dwelt in peace forever. See? Yep. The same thing. He said you would have dwelt in peace forever. Yep. Yeah, we would have kept his law, but. See? No what happened. We didn't want to obey. Boom. And that's and it's in the scripture. He said you have forsaken the fountain of wisdom, right? Yeah. Notice this is said again in Jeremiah two thirteen. Jeremiah two thirteen. Yeah, because it said you have for, forsaken the fountain of living waters. Right. That's in two thirteen of Jeremiah. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and used out system, broken system that can hold no water. See? 
where it say forsaken the fountain of the waters are some of the most high. It sure is. And the water deals with his laws. That's right. His wisdom. Yeah. His knowledge. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So uh, go back to the uh, first root. This time we go to the 3, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. First Peru, chapter 3, verse 14. Learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that thou mayest know also where is length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace. Same. 15. Yeah. Who have found out her place, or who have come into her treasure? See? And the treasures... This also that you know that that wisdom is the Lord's money. That's right. Because I think it's in you will see it in uh, Isaiah, it's a 33. Uh, Isaiah 33, 6? Yeah. Isaiah 36, 3, 3, 6. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be to the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, for the fear of the Lord is his treasure. See? See, a lot of these people, when they read about when the Lord gave the tablets, right? Yeah. People think that he's talking about money, right? Wow. He was talking about the wisdom. Sure is. That's the precept for that. Yeah. We did that teaching before. Yeah, we did, yeah. Right? Yeah. But I see a lot of pastors don't know that. They sure don't. They think that's talking about money. Yeah, they do. He's talking about the, he's talking about wisdom. Yes. The knowledge. And that's the precept for that. Right. And uh Isaiah 33, 6. Yep. Right? Yep. And it also we just came from uh, uh Baruch. Baruch. He yep. said the treasures, right? Yeah. Yep. Amazing, right? Oh, I guess he, our minister got some issues. <laughs> so they don't know that. Yeah, they don't know. Have no understanding. Right, no understanding. So, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, 27, 28. 28? 20, 28, 28. I mean, it's 27, 28. Chapter 7, right? Yeah, chapter 7 of Wisdom of Solomon. Oh, yeah, Wisdom of Solomon, yeah. 27 to 28? Yeah. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon, okay. chapter 7. Okay, chapter 7, yeah, okay. 27. Mosai is awesome. Yes, he is. We sorry for the interruptions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Solomon, I mean, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 27. And being by one, she can do all things, the remain, remainder of herself, and she makes it all things new in all, in all ages, entering into the into a holy soul, she makes it them friends of Elohim and the prophets. 28. For the love, for Elohim loves none but him that dwells with wisdom. See? 
You know what I'm saying? Nobody but those who dwell with wisdom. Yeah. Meaning those who keep his laws. That's it. Keep his commandments. That's right. He loved those who right? keep his commandments. Yeah. And so then I'm going to go back. Well, we didn't go back here, but this is the first time we're going here. Wisdom of Solomon 1, verses 4 and 5. This precepts with that. Because it was talking about the souls that enter it. Yeah. Because this right here lets you know everybody's not receiving this wisdom. Sure isn't. Not at all. Chapter 1, verse uh, 4 and 5. Yeah. <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 1, verse 4. 4 into a for, for unto a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject into sin. Five, for the Holy Spirit of wisdom, discipline, will plead deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness comes in. So, he's letting you know, people who don't get, uh, if you have jealousy, yeah. deceit, yeah. Any kind of those sins in you, you won't receive this wisdom. No, it sure won't. Right? Right. It won't dwell in your body. It sure won't. The scriptures say that. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. So the scriptures tell you that. So it won't dwell in you. It sure won't. So if you jealous of oh man, he getting all that wisdom and I didn't get nothing. No, he ain't gonna get that either. <laughs> you know, you jealous of that. Yeah, you know? yeah, he's done for. <laughs> he ain't getting nothing. He's like, man, he could break that Bible down, and man, why come I can't do that? Oh, see, you know, he, he's done. You know, uh, you know, you have to repent, that's right. the Lord, to take that jealous, jealousy out of you. Yeah, yeah, right? he does. Yeah, because the Lord, the Lord is not giving jealous spirits. Sure isn't. His truth. Yeah, he, he gonna forget right? that guy. Yeah. And so you have to be repentant. Sure does. Anyway, what does jealousy get you? It's not getting you nowhere. <laughs> That's right. It's not getting you nowhere being jealous of somebody. You got that right. Right. Then go nowhere. Yeah. You know. True. Just, and so if you want to go high in this thing, you got to repent. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You got to clean up his act. Yeah. You can't hate your brother either. <laughs> That's right. Right. Yeah. You can't do that either. Yeah. Because if you hate your brother, the Lord ain't giving it to you. Sure isn't. You gotta be right. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you yeah. gotta eat up that stuff in your heart, you gotta ask God to take all that out of you. Yeah, he got take all that. Yeah, all that's in his head. Yeah. It's like all gotta come out. Because that's all nothing but mess. <laughs> True. Mess. That's not but mess. Right. That's <laughs> right. And so, you, but, you gotta get cut yeah. up. Yeah. But it just gets me when I, because I see people that get jealous Man. of people, and uh, and they just want they want to be in that position. Really. And they want that word, and they want. Like, man, he's so deep, man. Why come I can't get it? Wow. And, you, and then they try to study hard, and yeah. then you see some people try to pass the people up. Really? But you can't pass the ones up because the Lord's not giving it to you. He's not giving it to you. That's right. It's true. Right? Not, not that kind of deal. You have to repent. Man, they. If you have that kind of spirit. True. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so, jealous don't get you nowhere. It sure does. Right? Nah, that mess. Mm -hmm. And people that's jealous, guess what? They still where they was at last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got moved. Right, right. They still, they still where you at last year. That's right. Same, right? same spot. Not moving. Yeah. Right. Yep. Stagnation. That's right. Stagnation. Stagnation. That's right. Right. Yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere in sight. Right. True. Right. So we got another precept for that. It's wisdom of seven seven. Uh, I know we probably said it before, but we go back to that precept. It's wisdom of Solomon seven twenty eight. Seven twenty eight. Okay. Then you go to Sirach ten nineteen. Is that ten twenty eight? Uh, after uh, a after uh, wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, ten nineteen. After. Oh, oh you said 10, after seven twenty eight. Oh, you said ten nineteen. Yeah, Sirach. Okay. Okay, 
Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 28. For, the, for Elohim loved none but him that dwells with wisdom. Yes, the rock 10, 19. Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 10, verse 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure sea, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonored sea, and they that transgress the commandment are a decidable sea. Ooh, see it? Yeah. That don't sound good. <laughs> okay, I didn't get that. Oh, uh, it's, uh... So the Lord said those who keep his So the Lord said those who keep his commandments are honorable. Sin. Yeah, do we say here? Honorable plant. Yes. Right? Yes. But those that disregard, they are dishonorable. Dishonorable. Mm -hmm. And deceivable seed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, deceivable seed. Those who don't keep it. Right. Right? Yeah. That means no truth is in you. Exactly. Right? Because also you can get that precept in First John chapter 2. It said, and I think it's 3. First John chapter 2 and 3, right? Yeah. It uh, speaks about knowing the Lord, right? Right. Uh, you want me you want to go three and four? Yeah. First John, chapter two, verse three, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. For he that said, I know him, and keep not his commandment, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. See? So that's just that goes with that scripture when it sure said, does. said that they are deceivable seed, those yeah. who don't keep it. Right. Right? Yeah, it ties together. Because you're lying when you're telling me, I love the Lord. <laughs> you're right. you're doing all kind of sin under the sun. <laughs> that's right. Right? Yeah, that is a liar. He's nothing yeah. a liar. So that's a deceivable seed. True. Right? Yeah, he is a deceivable seed. Yeah. So I can't listen to your words. I gotta watch your actions. That's right. Right. Yeah. Because words don't mean nothing in these in these times of day. You got that because right. Because most people are not good with their words. That's right. 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 They're not. They're not. How many people have told us we coming? Yeah. We Manny. coming. Manny. Oh boy. You're right. There's many people that told me when oh. I was when I was in Ducon. We yeah. Doing Ducon. Yeah. I'm coming to the Sabbath. I'm coming. And you show up. I didn't see him come. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. So people's words are not good. No, it's not. I got to see you do it. That's right. Then I know what you're saying. Right. I can trust your word. Exactly. Right. Right. So I got to. You got to earn our trust first. You got that right. We can't just trust you because you said something. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause, cause we bend that boat. I'd say, wait a minute, this guy's lying. Yeah. The problem was here, didn't they? Exactly. Yeah. Didn't stay. So just like. Uh, Many pastors told me many things, <laughs> yeah. but they didn't keep their word. That's right, they didn't keep their word. So, one thing I learned way back then, I believe what they told me, but but then I seen they didn't back what they were saying. Right. Right. Yeah. And so I learned this: because you're a pastor, don't mean you're good with your word. That's, that's right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. 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 yeah There's no different from that. Yeah. And that's bad being a pastor. Yeah. Doing that because if people see that you're not good with your word, they say, when? Well, I'm not going to call it this man's church anymore yeah, because, because he don't keep his word. Exactly. He told me he's going to do this and this and do that. But, yeah. <laughs> but I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's not good. No, it's not good. Not right? Good. It's that's, minister. that's not righteousness. That, exactly. Right? True. And so we won't call no names out. But, right. But there's know. pastors that, right. that, that do that. Sure do. I've been through it. Yeah. I've seen it. Sure did. They told me everything. They told me a lot of things, but I didn't see what they were saying. Yeah. The Bible tells us to test it. That's right. We're supposed to test the relationship. It's in the book of uh, Sirach. Yep. We can't call everybody our friend. That's right. For some of us, we got that bad. Oh, that's my friend over there. That's my friend over there. Yeah. That's my friend. Oh, every, we, uh, every fun day. Yeah. No good. But, they, 
But the Bible says you got to test that friendship. Yeah, because he, right? may, be, he may be doing some things. Yeah. yeah. Because you know that person's name don't mean they're your friend. That's right. Right? Yeah. Because some people think because they know your name, you 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 friends. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> right? I know. Me no, no you got to test that. That's right. The Bible says you got to test it. True. Right? Yep. Yeah. You're going to find them out when you go through something hard. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. When you once you once you go through something and get knocked down, yep. you because at first you probably have a, a crowd you right. Oh yeah. But once you got knocked down, where are you about at? Nowhere. Go right. Yeah. Get locked up. Yeah. Who's coming to see you? Nobody. Right. Yeah. And so I remember when I was in jail, nobody came to see me. Wow. You know. That's bad. You know. Wow. So that my mom came to see me though, but yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Nobody, yep. but you in jail. Yeah. Nobody, you go to see nobody coming to see you at all. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. And all those people you think was your friends, they show up. They show up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The Lord gonna show you who your friends are. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. You yep. think everybody your friend, but you find out they not. They not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Well, I hate to say it, a lot of family members are fake too. It sure is. You know. They ain't real. They're not real. Right. You know? True. Y'all might say, oh, Paul, you talking bad about the family. <laughs> but, well, some of y'all, y'all, you know, you could do, you find out that a lot of your family's not there for you. Exactly. Right? True. Right? Yeah. They may tell you, oh, we love you, hug you, love, but let you go through some hard times. Oh, they don't show up. No, <laughs> oh, they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Quiet over there. Sure do. And so we just bring it out to show you. Exactly. And so if you don't know it now, Guess what? You gonna find it out. You keep living, you gonna find it out. Oh yeah. You gonna find out. Oh yeah. You gonna find out who your real family members yeah, are. Yeah, that's a death. You gonna find out who your real friends that's are. That's right. You gonna find out. Sure is. Right. Yep. You find that out. Sure will. Yeah. Cause you go through things in this life. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so some people might be smiling right now, but. But there's a trial coming. Sure is. <laughs> you got that yeah. right. There's a trial that's coming that's going to knock you down. That's right. Yeah. And you're going to find out about some things yep. that you didn't know. True. Right? Yep. Then, when the next time we see you, we may not see you talking real nasty about everything. <laughs> because now you learn some things. That's right. <laughs> because, you got, because you got knocked down. Yeah. Yep. And so trials, they do teach you things. Yes, it does. And it make you wiser. Yep. Right? Yep. That's why we can't listen to people that haven't went through nothing. Right. Right? Yeah. You can't listen to nobody that know it. Because they don't know nothing about life. True. How they going to counsel you and they, they ain't went through nothing. That's right. Right? They, right? Yeah. They, That's just like, say you married, but this person ain't been married, but they ain't going to try to counsel you well, and I said, tell you that about your marriage. Right. <laughs> they can't tell you about your marriage. Exactly. You can't tell me nothing. Because they ain't been married. Right. They ain't been through nothing. True. You know? Yeah. Right. So that's why I, I won't cancel nobody about the marriage because I ain't been married. Right. You know? Yeah. So, but the, the other things, God took me through a lot of things, so I can speak about those right. things. Right. Yeah. I can speak about those things. True. Yeah. But I won't speak about nothing that I'm not going through. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, but life teaches you, you know? Yeah. And also, I learned that life will shut you up, too. Yeah. So you got a lot of people that talk too much. Yeah. yeah. They don't go through something. Yeah. You're going to shut them up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And you probably say, Paul, you said it, but I don't see that person shut up. I said, well, let them keep going through. Yeah. It's going, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen to open their eyes. True. So just like this, you can't be a you can't be deceived. You gotta you gotta be real. That's right. Right. Yeah. And then the Bible tells you test all things. We give you that scripture. It's in that Thessalonians. Is it First Thessalonians chapter five? It's up First Thessalonians. Chapter five is it five. First Thessalonians five. It may be that last verse. I yeah, know it's a small verse. It's in chapter 5, 1st Thessalonians, and it's, and it's 21. Yeah, 21. Okay. 521. Back at it? Yeah. 
1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Well, it say prove all things is really saying test all things. Right. So people can't say it by your friend if you just know them by name. Right. You have to been through some things True. with that person. You have to test them if they're loyal, right? Right. That's what the Bible tells us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you can't say it by your friend. You can't say it by it's there for you. True. You got to test them. Yes, you you got to prove it. Yeah. Even with these scriptures. And uh, you, when you speak and stuff, we got to find out if that's the real doctrine, right? Right. And how we test it? We test it with the, with the Lord's doctrine. That's right. Right? Yeah. And Isaiah 820. Yeah, 820, yes. 820. Yeah. That's how you test it. Yep. Because he said, if they don't speak according to the law and the testimony, right. the light, the light's not in them. That's right. right. No. See? Yeah. So we prove all things. True. And also, it, it's a precept that goes with it. He said, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. What is he talking about when he said, hold fast was good? Go to uh, Romans 7.12. Okay. So seven twelve. Romans chapter seven verse twelve. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandments is holy, and just and good. So we say hold that fast as good is talking about the law. Right. Right? Yeah. So that's what he's saying. Yeah. So if you notice this, you know, if you go to a scripture, it's a precept for everything. It sure is. Because you see how I preach that? Boom. Yeah. Because, yeah. you, you know, in church, they pay, you know, in Christian church, they'll just read that verse. Yeah. And say, prove all things. Yeah. And hold fast was good. Yeah. They have no idea what that's talking about. When it's talking about hold fast, that's good. Wow. So they just. <laughs> right? This is be reading, be reading. <laughs> Hold fast what is good is the law. Sure is. But you know, you might ain't going to say that because you don't teach the law. You teach the law. You don't tell them to keep the law. That's right, they in don't. church. Because you say, don't. we under grace. Yes, right. we know we under grace. But still, we, does that mean that I, I can break the Lord's commandments? Right. Because, yeah. because I'm under grace? <laughs> That you think the Lord just give me past it, I can just go, oh yeah, I can just go ahead and eat this pork today. Because <laughs> I'm under grace, so he's giving me a pass. Pass? <laughs> no, I'm going to give us a pass. Right? right? So is that grace, is that a grace pass? No. That I can just eat anything I want? Oh, no. That's a dangerous thing to get. <laughs> so that's not a pass. That, so that grace is not a pass for no. me to eat everything right. I want. Right. Can't do it. And just say, oh, we just go ahead and pray over because that's a pass for me no. to, eat, to eat what I want. No, no, that's not good. Right? <laughs> so it's not a pass. No, it's not a pass. Right? No. So grace is this, the Lord giving us grace. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And a grace time period. Right. That's all it is. Just a, just a time period. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. To get it right. And that's all it is. It because is. judgment is coming. You got yeah. that right. Somebody said, no, 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 yes, he is. Yeah, judgment judge. coming. Because Christ come back, that's judgment right. is, he's going to judge this world. That's right. Yeah. That's, so that's, stop listening to those people lying to you. Yeah, true. Because when that day comes, it's going to be a terrible day. Yeah, it's going to be a terrible day. All right? Yeah. So stop listening to people say, oh, the Lord's not going to judge. He, he, he's not judging you. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? That's the question. What scripture does that come from? <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, it is. Right? Yes, it is. It's coming. And so if they don't know it, the Bible said judgment started at the house of God. That's right. The house of God is talking about the nation. It's talking about Israel. Right. Uh, you know? Yeah, and what we? We went into captivity. That's right. And guess what? Still in captivity. That's right. Right? Yeah, we're still in captivity. Somebody said, said how you know you still in captivity? Well, uh, we still in these, these lands. That's right. We're not, right? We're not home. Right? <laughs> yeah. And if Israel was out of captivity, the world would be at war. Exactly. We right? Right. There would be peace. Yeah. In the earth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It won't be all this. So you home. got war. You got all this stuff going on. Israel's not there yet. That's right. We're not there. Right? Right. You gotta know who the real Israel is. True, that's right? it. Yeah. According to scripture. Exactly. Search. Yeah. Right. 
start listening to everybody, what everybody saying. True. And ask and study research. Yeah. Research it for yourself. True. Right? Yeah. Problem is you listen to all these pastors. Oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> oh, that's a big problem. Right. Then you let that go. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, then you Because once you get in the word for yourself, you find out, oh my God. I didn't know I didn't know I ain't supposed to be doing that. Right. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing that. True. Right? Yeah. You find out you then you find out, oh, you're going to church in the wrong day. That's oh, right. Oh my God. Oh, I bet stop that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you thought you were celebrating Christ when you were celebrating Christmas. Now you find out you celebrating Nimrod. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You was blinded. You yeah. thought you were celebrating Christ. That's right. Yeah. That's bad. Now you opened God opened your eyes. Sure did. You found out it's not, it's not about real Nimrod. That's right. Christmas is about Nimrod. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with Christ. Sure it doesn't. Not, not, not. No, nope. they keep telling you it's all about Christ. Though. Yeah, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. True. <laughs> Right, and yeah. they said we got to put Christ back into Christmas. Oh, Christ was never in never Christmas. Christmas. It's true. Never right? Right. right, that's a lie. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a big lie. So the truth will set you free. True. Right. Yeah. So I'm done, y'all. We done. We done. Ready? Ready. All right. So, Father, we thank you for this word, and we thank you as we go forth. We ask you, Lord, that you will bless the food, bless the hands that prepare it, and as we go, bless the fellowship. Shalom. Shalom.